Juggalo Fishing fam. Welcome back to another episode of the Juggalo Fishing Posse. I am your host, Slash Gears. And today, guys, we got something that's just uh, a little bit special, kind of like last time. Damn it, getting in the way. It's my light cord. Gotta love it. Anyway, guys, today we are going to be doing something a little special, kind of like last time. Um, it's just going to be a collection of clips. Um, but uh, I was this was actually meant to go into the uh, last episode for the uh, you know the 100th episode that we did. But uh, as you guys saw, that thing ran over 30 something minutes, so we didn't quite have time for it. So we're just going to do it uh, today for this episode. And uh, basically, instead of uh, hidden clips, this is actually just a small collection of uh, things that I had from uh, our previous episodes. I kind of picked out, you know, some of my favorite moments, my favorite trips, uh, weird stuff, cool stuff. You know, I've got like, you know, maybe like nine clips or so to show you guys. So uh, that's what we're doing today. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be another in studio episode hope you guys don't mind and hopefully you can hear me over the sound of the fan back there but um but yeah anyway this is uh this is where we're doing it today i'm not really going to give you a small tour so what well, i mean well we'll give you the gist of it here is where our equipment gets ready here is where our minds get ready and right over there is where the magic happens I'm just kidding the only magic i have left in my life is right here so uh, Anyway, let's get on into the first clip. Now, the first clip is going to be the uh, the striper that we caught down at the spillway for the very first time that we actually went down there, actually. And, uh, yeah, even though my SD card was being completely stupid um, and cutting out clips, it was still one of my favorite moments. Uh, just epic. You know, like I said, first time down to the spillway and boom we get a uh, striper first striper of the year um so yeah check that out real quick guys well guys my gopro died on me memory card's acting weird but i got something something decent i don't know what he is oh he's a striper oh my god Guys, I'm so sorry I could not get the landing on film. My SD card keeps freaking shitting out on me, but look at this beast of a striper. Holy crap. Let's get him back in the water. Thanks for biting, buddy. My first striper of the freaking year. There he goes. Come on, get out of those rocks. There you go, buddy. Holy crap. All right, next up, we're going to go over the uh, episode where we, uh, I think we're going to do uh, the one where I was going over uh, fishing for bedding bass. Um, so I've got two catches, two nice little bass that I caught um, using the uh, aggravation method is what I'll call it. Um, basically, you just keep throwing something really big and obnoxious right where uh, they're bedding at and there's there's just a little sweet spot in there where they're not gonna allow that lure to be so uh anyway i'll show you the two clips uh of that right here did you see that y'all he took my worm what the hell wait i've got something else on me don't i yep got some lizards I'm walking up real easy easy this guy's getting to be a bit of a pain and so is that tree just keeps popping at it there he goes get on up here big boy 
Yeah. Yes. Ah. Yes. Finally. Good Lord, that is a beast. Oh, buddy. Look at that. Jeez. Nice fish. different tactic. Put the Kai Tech on the jig, which is kind of weird. This next clip, um, uh, a handful of you uh, OG uh, fam is going to remember this one. Uh, it was back when uh, we were actually down at Broadway Creek. It was me and Sir Maticus, and uh, I ended up catching probably the biggest crappie that I have ever seen in my life. It was a good 14, 15 inches. Uh, I didn't get measurements or anything on it, and it was also... A little dark but hopefully it was enough for you guys to see so check that out real quick use a uh, use a stick if you have to damn I got a big one holy Jesus bro Jesus Christ that is the biggest crappy I've ever seen in my life Holy shit! Dude. Look at the size of this crappy. Y'all, I know y'all can't hardly see that, but Jesus Christ! That's the biggest one I've seen. That's the biggest crappy I've ever seen in my life, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mm. You're going back, you freaking monstrosity of a damn fish. Jesus Christ, bro. Can't even get a good... When you can lip a crappy like that. Damn. Bro, did you... <laughs> good God. Y'all just saw that one. As a reference to the size, look at that. Like barely fits in my hand that other one was like 10 of my freaking hands all right fam uh speaking while we're on the subject of sir maticus I might as well introduce this next clip it was one of my favorite um it was when uh me and matt went out and uh we decided to put a hurting on some carp because uh the the episode previous to this one i went out there and just got my ass handed to me like i never been you know never been a carp fisherman uh didn't know much about it and as you could see there was a whole lot of uh there was a whole lot of failures and trials and error and basically i had a whole lot to learn and i learned a lot after these two episodes but looking back on it still the episode where me and matt went out there and put a hurting on these carp and uh we just overall it was a good time full of laughs full of jokes it was it was a great great episode so, uh, yeah, take a look at this little uh, clip that I threw together from that episode. 
Damn. Yeah. Look at that carp. You got him. Got his good, man. No. It's a nice carp, man. How you feel about that? <laughs> How you feel about that? Loosen my drag a little bit because he's still going. I'm gonna do a slide. Here you go, bro. Hold him for me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Like I thought he was going to slap me in the face. Come on, Roger. <laughs> Come on, Roger. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Um, We'll say, how about that one time that I caught the... Uh, that I caught a uh, channel catfish on a Senko. Um, that, that, that just st sticks in my mind. It was when uh, Cardoza Lures sent me uh, some stick baits in to try out for the channel and uh, took me like forever and all day in order to finally get a bass on it, like going to different places. It was just no fish to be had. But, uh, but I did end up catching a channel cat on one of the uh, stick worms, which was completely weird never seen that i mean like i said I'm, i've heard they bite lures i've seen them bite lures for other people just never a stick bait so check that out get on oh my god it's a freaking catfish what the hell What in the world? I have never seen that before. I got a channel cat on that little worm, on that Senko. That's crazy. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. See you catfish. Wrong way, buddy. That way, that way. You got it, you got it. What the hell? Jeez. All right, and now we're gonna go to, uh, we'll do a rel relatively recent one. Um, I was super stoked about it. Um, it was the uh, first mirror carp that I ever caught, ever, ever. So um, yeah, I was, uh, we was down there where we usually, you know, catch all the carp down there on the Savannah River. Um, but yeah, super cool stuff, guys. These fish are uh, really rare. It's uh, it's not every day you get to hook into one of these things. Um, so, uh, so yeah, like I said, I was completely stoked. So you guys check that out right here. Oh man. Oh, is that a mirror car? I can't tell. I just let him get tired. Oh my God, it's a mirror carp. It'll be my first mirror carp ever. Stay on there, dude. Come on. Got him. My very first mirror carp ever. Let's get a look at him. If you'll cooperate with me. Oh, yeah. He's a good seven, eight pounds, maybe. Look at that. Not the prettiest mirror carp in the world, but definitely really cool. My first one ever. He's got a, kind of a derpy face. Hoi, 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 hoi. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Let's get this guy back. Look at him swim off. Awesome stuff. Whew. 
All right, we might as well go over the uh, the biggest bass clip, um, or at least this past year, uh, the biggest bass that I caught. What once again didn't have equipment on me to get like specific measurements, but like using my best judgment, it had to be somewhere between three and four pounds, uh, largemouth, and it was on a chatterbait, I believe. Really cool stuff out there at the uh, public uh, duck pond. Um, check that out real quick, guys. Yeah, we got something. Looks like a big old bass. Uh, uh, stay back, stay back. Big old bass. <laughs> chill out, bro, chill out. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a What's that? Oh, yeah, he's a good. He's a good four pounds, at least. Good Lord. Mavis, look. Now that's a lunker right there. He might be a little bit too big for you to hold, baby. You can try. Yeah, you gonna try to hold him? He got teeth. Yeah, he's got teeth. You wanna pet him? No? Go ahead. Good Lord. So yeah, that's a good four, four and a half pounds at least. All right, let's get him back. Put it down, baby. Put it down. I don't want you to poke your sister. All right. Go. Ah, you beast. Good job. You mean. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, we're gonna go over the uh, the big catfish. Um, some of you may not have even seen this because it was at the very end of a uh, another kind of a long video, I believe. But um, it was once again, it was me and Sir Maticus, and we went out and uh, j just did a handful of fishing all day, different spots. But we uh, we stopped at this one spot, caught a couple of chunky panfish that we decided to uh, cook that night. Since Matt has never um, Matt's never eaten you know uh, panfish like that, so uh, like fresh fish, like you catch it, you cook it, you eat it. He's never done that before, so we decided to do that kind of on a whim. And uh, anyway, we was night fishing, and like really weird circumstances happened with this catch, guys. I'm not even gonna lie, and. You guys have seen that happen generally uh, once before when I was fishing for carp. But uh, yeah, like epic catch of a lifetime. Um, basically the backstory, we were sitting there and it had done got too dark to record anything. So everything that we got for the actual catfish itself was done on a, uh, on a cell phone and using a cell phone light. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was, uh, it was a mess, but super fun. Uh, but basically what happened we were sitting there and we were chilling we had had a good bit to drink and uh, Yeah, it was Starting to starting to die down. We were winding down a little bit and uh, We heard a jingle one of my poles went off and then just instantly splash <laughs> Like you look over and the pole was just gone like absolutely gone Luckily, I had two more poles set off to either side and he ended up running over the line on the right and was just enough to where I could hook the line with that pole, reeled it in, then retrieved my pole that got drugged into the water and finished fighting in this fish. Um, really, really crazy, crazy stuff. And it was super lucky, really. Like, lucky that I didn't lose that entire combo because uh, that was, like I said, pure luck. Pure luck, freaking God, Allah, Jesus, the fishing Poseidon, somebody was looking out for me that day, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I will let you guys take a look at this cat real quick, right here. He literally just broke off. <sighs> oh, dude. I got this shit on video. <laughs> Here, hold it in the fire a little bit. Good God, man. Dude. Oh, that fucker is huge. Dude. That is the blue I have been looking for.
Just shine the light on me. Oh. <laughs> Look at that monster, dude. He is a beast. I ain't ever seen something like that. Dude. Let me step back. That is a beast. All right, guys. That's all the clips that I've really got time for today. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and uh, like I said, if you guys want to go back and check out any of those uh, actual episodes that I uh, uh, showed a clip for here, then, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to make sure that I leave tags over each uh, flashback clip. So... Make sure if you want to go and see the whole episode for any of the clips that you saw today, if you liked any of them, just click that little tag and it'll take you straight to the video that I uploaded for it. So uh, be sure to do that and also be sure to go ahead and do all the cool shit as usual. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, yada, 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 and all that good shit. Um, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to start winding down for the night because I'm tired and I've had a long kind of uh, aggravating day. So... Any, anyway, I get out of the way. Like, I like that thing, but it gets in the way. It really does. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and sign it out there, guys. I'm going to go here and probably play some video games. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's just it's feeling like a video game kind of night. Anyway, fam, I'm going to leave and uh, get off of here so that you guys ain't got to watch another 30-something minute video. So, um yeah thank you guys for watching much wicked clown love to all you fam out there tight lines sharp hatchets and we'll catch you at the water next time fam whoop whoop